Aloha, cupcakes. It's been a little bit since I did one of these, and I've been thinking about this one. Well, I've been thinking about and obsessing over how I was going to do this one. See, when I'm doing what I'm doing right now, this is something I've been working on for decades now. And what I don't think a lot of people really see from me doing it is that everything that I'm doing right now looks like I know what I'm doing because I spent years learning how to do what I'm doing so that I actually learned to trust myself to not draw out a design. To be able to just go create it, have an idea in my head, and to sit down and actually do it, but to do so with like flawless delivery on this. Now, the thing is that I, I do that with most of the things that I do in my existence. So when you look at like the way that this is filmed, I've put some work into this. There's a nicer camera than my phone. I have lenses. My garage has been designed in a way where my lighting works. So I can just go in there, turn the thing on, plug in a camera, sit down and start painting, and still be able to produce what I consider to be better than an iPhone video, if that makes sense. But like, just this little, these little nuggets right here. This is something that I would have scrutinized years ago over. I would have sat there and had to sharpen and repalette my brush every time I did it. There would be some sort of a sketch line. And I would have another brush just so I could put the little knuckles in each of the spider legs. And you gotta remember, this thing is slightly larger than the tip of my thumb. But now, now I just take my brush and just go. What if it's wrong? Eh, who cares? I haven't had too many entomologists come up to me and be like, you know your spider is not entirely accurate. I mean, there was the one, but... Yeah, no, that was weird. I've had an entomologist actually correct me on artwork when I was painting on the side of a car at a car show where it was 115 degrees and dust was blowing everywhere. And then I told him, I was like, most spiders don't have glitter in them either, but look at where we are. Also, I'm putting glitter in this one because, I mean, I can kind of fun for me at least but the details that go into this I mean check this out right right about there it looks like it's focused and then all of a sudden the camera is like hey check out that beard I don't know why it actually did that I'm leaving it in here though you guys can watch that and you can just question what my camera was actually trying to focus on for a little while because I still don't know but when all of a sudden dead tiny itty bitty spider I mean it's freaking adorable like, super adorable. Like, I don't know that I would carry on a purse to show off how adorable it is, but you sure could. Anyway, thanks for putting up with me. Okay, bye.